one time, when Dr. Sturgis was late for a lecture, I stayed longer than everyone. Where are you all going? The professor's not here. I can teach the class. So, Fetcher, you have a flashlight? In the glove box, I think. Can you pass it back? No, I'm driving. All right, I'm coming up. Don't crash while I'm unbuckled. Really? You need to do this right now. <laughs> Over to the Sparks for a little while. Why? I should think of Chi-Chi's as a more romantic Taco Bell. So, uh, what do you like to do here? What? Oh, uh, it, it doesn't matter. I'll take the sign. You might have known what a bonehead mistake you made. There's probably a nicer way to say it. Did you hear how massive his neutrinos were? We're well into bonehead territory. Sheldon, you don't need to be rude to it. When am I rude? And your theory was not without succeeding and avoiding success. Well, Sheldon, uh, you don't need to beat around the bush. We're men of science. Uh, just give it to me straight. The math is for your neutrinos. Howdy. Morning. I need to order some baseball trophies. Baseball over there. So many. Ta ta. Hello. Dr. Sturgis, it's Sheldon. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, just wondering what became of my career. Oh, should I call you back later? Oh no, I can be. I should put on pants. Can you believe this? Boy trophy, boy trophy. Boy trophy. Well, all I see is my trophy wife. Nope, okay. Look, the only... How long have you been working on? A couple weeks, trying to save money for college. Well, now you have to take this, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you. How are things with Jenna? Honestly, I had no idea. Should you even be... We rewrote the whole thing from scratch. Exciting. I know credits are usually listed alphabetically, but I'm completely fine with my name going second. Sheldon, I've worked on this paper for years. I'm not putting your name on it. A piece of apparel, it should be you wearing a baby bonnet. Because that's how you're behaving. Ready to go? Very. It's a good thing she showed up because I do not have a comeback. For the sake of this car ride, sure. So shiny, aren't you now? Hello. Remember me? I thought you were going to take your business elsewhere. Well, lucky for you, I believe in Frankenstein. My daughter deserves to have a trophy that looks something like her. So this is kind of a feminist gesture on your part. I prefer to think of it as a maternal gesture. Let's just split the difference and call it the stuff of night. Him, I don't play games with sense structure. Look, I haven't done a forensic examination of this paper, but it's not uncommon to show your work to a colleague to get their feedback. But I fixed his paper. This kind of accusation could have real consequences. I consider my next steps very careful. Better. Ooh, maybe a little beard like George Michael. I wonder how tall he is. I bet he's tall. Hey, I have something to show you. A head smaller, or a body bigger, or a little bit more. I just want the same trophy everyone else gets. But I want you to feel special. And I just want to feel regular. Okay. And this for blowing things up. <laughs> insulting. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, but... Sheldon, I don't want to see you in my class anymore. 